Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here, coming back at you with another video. So here's the 1977 Yamaha GT80. Uh, we got the side cover on from the last video, you guys remember, we checked out the carb. The slide looks a little uh, fatigued, if you will. But we're, nevertheless, we're going to try it anyway. So we're going to see if we can put a carburetor on this thing and uh, see what happens. Go from there. And just wanted to show you guys, I have been working on the shop. So it's a bit of a mess. As you can see, I got stuff all over the place. Um, there's the KE-102, which we're going to be working on soon. We have a lot of stuff coming up, guys. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to try doing the, um, the saddlebags on the KE-100. I got my rack set up. I got my motors up in there. This is the, um, what do you call it there? My spare parts motor, if you will. The uh, the KD75 motor. Right there, complete all the way up with the, uh, what do you call it, air filter. That was the engine that was sitting right there. So I've been plugging away, hanging cables and all kinds of goodies, guys. All kinds of goodies. We got a lot of stuff coming up. And because I'm home for the next couple of weeks, I figured, you know what? Perfect time to start working on this stuff and busting them out. And then we'll just keep it going after that. Okay, so we got the carburetor right here. This is the one we checked out. This is the one we put the new insulator in. So we're going to put this on the bike. So let's go get cracking. All right. So now we got, uh, let's see, we got everything we need to do. So, all right, let's get going. Piece some W Quick WD-40. I'm going to spray the slide. It looks a little dry. Harvey said that this thing hasn't ran in about, well, it's been with him for 15 years. And uh, 15 to 20, I should say. So, it's been sitting for a very, very long time. I don't think this slide's going to go up and down on this thing. Oh, there it goes. Alright. Help if you put it in the right way. <laughs> This bike has been sitting for an awfully long time. A very long time. All right. A little love snug there. Tuck it back here. I'm not going to hook up the air filter just yet. I'm going to uh, try it without it. Like that. We'll just hand tighten that down, right? No harm, no foul. <laughs> Hook up our ignition coil. We still gotta get the bracket coming to this. Like I said, guys, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but we're gonna try this thing out. I'm gonna hook up the coil real quick using my jumpers. Round. Okay. All right, throwing a fuel tank on there now. Let's expand you guys so you guys can see what's going on here. I just set the fuel tank on and hooked up the ground there instead. Gets it out of my way. Cut this fuel line back. Check your oil level inside here, and I have plenty of oil in the motor, so we're good there. 
we're just gonna try firing it off see if we can get the least sputter kick or as I like to say fart if we can get to do any one of those few things that would be awesome okay All right, guys, let's give it a few kicks. That is a doornail. So that's a good thing. Right there guys, first start. Oh. All right, we're getting somewhere now guys. Let's keep trying it, see if we can get it. Put a board in it to see if I get the fuel line to Just because it's crunked.
going to have to clean that carburetor. Um, and the ultrasonic cleaner, what do you guys think? I think if we clean that thing in the ultrasonic cleaner, this thing will, this bike will be alive. Boy, she wants to run, and we need the bracket. The other thing, too, I'm getting high resistance because I don't have the coil properly grounded. It's a very chintzy ground. Very, very light. I had to take a break. My legs are getting tired from kicking this thing. I'm very tired. I've been up late last night. All right. Well, that seemed to run a little longer. have it that was the first start on the yeah 1977 Yamaha GT80 she's a smoker guy she's a smoker she's gonna need to be cleaned out flushed out who knows how old that oil is needs an air filter um, needs a little bit of air restriction but guys it runs so this is the bike that hasn't ran in about 15 to 25 years I know it's kind of a window Harvey Spooner said that he had the bike for about 15 years and then I'm assuming the person who had it before in the condition of it um, hadn't had it running in about 5 to 10. So I'm going to say 20 years, this bike hasn't ran this is the first start on it. So we're going to go ahead and keep going with the bike, um, this Yamaha GT series, and see if we can't get this bike up and running. We got to do new tires to it. We need to uh, redo that carburetor. We're going to clean it one more time. <coughs> we got to get the carburetor mount. I got some cool things for it. I found it. I was going through things. It's in need of a throttle assembly, and I happen to have a throttle assembly for this particular bike. It's just black. It's not gray, but I'm all right with that um, because there's no other colors on it. You know, so I'll show you real quick. You can see the you can see the setup that's on it right there, and then here's the one that I have. In comparison, let's see if I can do it like this. It's basically the same exact thing, you know, and it stops. So um, we have that. The grips don't match, but I don't care about that. We'll get another grip for it. Uh, this also came off the RX-50, so I know it'll work on this bike. That, in fact, that's the coil that we're using is from the RX-50. So I wanted to keep it all the same. But guys, I'm very impressed with this bike. Um, it sat for a very long time. It needed minimal work. And, I mean, she's a runner, you know. I'm going to try firing it off one more time, see if she'll kick one more time. I like to hear this thing. Definitely need to clear its throat, though. We gotta clean that carburetor. It's probably fouled out by now. But anyway, there she is, guys. The 1977 GT80. Please subscribe. Please share the channel. And uh, hopefully, you guys uh, get inspired to grab whatever bike you guys have out in the backyard that hasn't been running in a long time and get it going. Um, look, next time we do this bike, <coughs> we're gonna um, have the coil and uh, get this thing all up and running so we're going to do this the proper way fix the fuel line the air filter assembly and go right through it um, so that's the next couple of videos for this bike
So tomorrow night, I want to take, this is an ammo box. Um, this is what they put, you know, bullets and stuff in. It holds up to 50 cal, uh, military style. It's Harbor Freight. Um, and if you want one of these, there's the part number, 63181. Um, we're going to take this label off, and this is going to be the saddlebag for my uh, my Kawasaki KE100. So we're going to figure out how to mount this on tomorrow and get this part done because these are pretty cool. And um, we're going to paint this thing Kawasaki. We're going to clean it up first after we, after we mount it. Uh, we're going to get it all cleaned up, dolled up, and then we're going to paint it to match the bike. Uh, we're going to order some Kawasaki green paint and paint this thing Kawasaki green. And uh, that'll be fun. So that's coming up tomorrow. And then, of course, we have the Kawasaki KD80. This is Harvey Spooner's bike, his personal bike. Lucky number 13, as he calls it. So um, we're going to be getting on to this also this week. So we got some stuff we're going to get going on. So we have the, um, we're going to put the, um, what do you call it there? The ammo bag on this. We're going to get that done. We're going to work on this this week coming up. And we're going to work a little bit more on the other bike as well. So we got some stuff going on. And all these bikes need a first start. So we have to do uh, put the batteries in them, the uh, mirrors, and get that all on them. So we have a lot of videos coming up, guys. A lot. And then, of course, after all that's done, the week after, we have to get crackalacking on this bike right here. So I want to get this thing done. We got the tools here to do this now. Straighten out that tail end. Get the kickstand mounted. Um, finish off the wiring. Put the lights, the electrical onto it. And uh, go that route with it. So we definitely have a lot to do. And we also have the Yamaha Breeze to get going. Um, I got a couple parts. We got to pull the tail light off. I broke the tail light lens. So we got to pull that off. And I got to order one of those up. So the Yamaha Breeze. That's the... Uh, the other bike we got from Harvey Spooner, so we have to get that one up and going too. So we have a lot of videos coming up. And I'm still not sure what I'm doing with this one, but it's going to be awesome. Alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't had a chance, hit that um, subscription button and the uh, bell notification. When a video gets posted, you'll be the first to know. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all my, uh, my fellow bikers. And uh, hopefully this is an inspiration to you. This bike's been sitting for 20 years. And now she's blowing smoke. And it's going to run even better when we get into it. So we still have more fine tuning. That was the first start. And I just wanted to, uh, to do that, get that done. So anyway guys, I'm off for the night. Thank you guys and I will talk to you tomorrow.